Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to be discussing Lila and whether or not she knows Ladybug's identity. Now, it was meant to be, this video is meant to be a series video about, you know, what happened to Lila at the end of the episode, but oh my god, I've seen so much arguing online about whether or not Lila found out that Marinette was Ladybug or not. So we're going to try and answer this question once and for all in this video. Although to be fair, you probably still won't agree with me because I had people under this video about whether it was Emily or Amelie calling me stupid and in denial from both sides. From people who believe it was Emily and from the people who believe it was Amelie calling me delusional. Like, this fandom cannot agree on a single thing. So. In the answer to this question, does Lila know Marinette is Ladybug? The answer is no. You care to explain that? No. That's the end of the video. Bye! I'm kidding. Okay, let me explain. Basically, Lila is obviously the new villain of the show and I do think in season 6 and season 7, I don't know, season 83 at the rate we're going, it will be a little bit pointless if the villain knows Ladybug's identity already. It would make it very easy for Lila to get the earrings and take them when Ladybug is Marinette, when she's a lot more vulnerable in her civilian form. If Lila knows, we'd all be screaming at our screens for the remainder of Lila's time as the villain going like, oh my god, why aren't you just going to Marinette's house and stealing them from her? Now, I know this show does make some questionable narrative decisions sometimes, and that's me being generous, but um, I don't think they do this. Like, I can't see a way they could plausibly drag this out for the long term if Lila already knows that Marinette is Ladybug. Do I think she'll eventually find out in a situation like the end of confirmation? Yeah, for definite. But like in Lila's grand finale, not right now when she's just started being the villain. So long story short, the show would be over pretty quick if Lila already knew. Done and done. However, that's not really proving anything with evidence, so let's take a look at the finale. So when Lila shows up at the Aggress Mansion, Bug Noir and Monarch Daddy are trying to kill each other in the murder basement already, and Bug Noir is monologuing, which is done in part in voiceover, which is put over the other kids fighting who quite obviously cannot hear her, they are nowhere near. However, it is unclear if Lila can hear her. Thomas Astrox says Lila is able to hear them fighting, but doesn't mention that she can hear Bug Noir talking. The script kind of does allude to Lila being able to hear her talking, as it says her voice comes from the depths of the earth, but it's still not clear, in my opinion, if Lila can actually hear what she's saying. This thing, OS, just means off screen, meaning Bug Noir herself is off screen, but we can still hear her saying this. But I'm not sure if it means Lila can hear her too. This is possibly just for the benefit of us, the audience. The destroyed basement shows just how far below the surface Bug Noir is, and while I have no doubt Lila can hear something, I'm not sure Marinette's voice or Gabriel Babes's is loud enough to carry to Lila so she can hear every single word. The reason why I think this is important is because at some points during the fight, Gabriel does call Bug Noir Marinette both before and after Lila shows up in the foyer. However, this shot of her in the foyer is the last we see of her in the episode until the very end, in that end scene with like the lightning or whatever's going on. So let's just assume for the sake of this point that she can hear every single word Gabriel and Marinette says, but we have no idea where she moves in the house or if she does move in fact. We have no evidence to say that she remains in the foyer, but also no evidence to say for definite that she does move and where she moves to. We don't know, therefore we can't say for certain that she heard Gabriel say Marinette's name, if indeed she was able to hear what they were saying. I'm unsure as well how Lila got the Butterfly Miraculous, which I also think plays into this, and the only solution I can think of at the minute anyway is the robots. We know from last season Gabriel has used them in his house before, like in the party for Daddy Aggressed, and I do think it's a possibility that he kept them since he and Tom away are obviously super duper close, and Lila somehow was able to get a robot, possibly one of the ones from inside Gabriel's house, to get the Butterfly Miraculous for her using the laptop. Marinette tells us after the wish that she searched the basement for Butterfly Miraculous, but it seems like it was already gone at that point, so I think the robot could have been getting it as Gabriel Bose was talking to Gimi. If Lila had gone into the basement herself at this point, she would have seen Marinette as Marinette, since Gabriel had her earrings, so she would for definite know Lady Bug's identity. But how would Lila actually get down there? Earlier on in the fight, the elevator got absolutely decimated. 
There is no way up or down unless you are a superhero. Now, how the robot got down instead of Lila, I truly don't know. I have no explanation for that. And I'm not actually 100% sure if it was one of the robots that got the butterfly miraculous. Since if we look at the screenshot from Collusion, Chloe can see what the robots see. It's not a particularly huge view, but it's a view nonetheless. And the robot would be Lila's eyes down in the basement since she can't be down there with the robot searching. While I do think it's possible Lila could have seen Marinette while doing this, we have no proof right now to say she does for definite and with the way the wish happens it looks like Gabriel and Marinette are trapped in this like kind of limbo state. While you can see parts of the basement like Emily's fridge and the window we don't know what someone looking in could see of this. They might not have been able to see anything. We just don't know since this hasn't happened in the show before. We also need to ask where does this pool of water lead? Is it confined to the basement or does it go elsewhere? Was Lila able to see the butterfly miraculous get taken off Gabriel and fall in and then she moves somewhere else to go and get it? Maybe somewhere in the sewers? The water does look kind of similar with like, like greeny tinge to it. I do think it's a possibility that Lila saw Gabriel lose the butterfly miraculous in the water and left before she saw Gabriel take the miraculous off Marinette. Now the other piece of evidence that a lot of people are using to say that Lila knows that Marinette is Ladybug is this clip from the end of the episode. Je suis impatiente de te retrouver. Marinette Dupont now, while I do think this clip for definite can be interpreted as Lila being like, oh boy, I know you're Ladybug, I can't wait to see you again at school because I'm gonna rip your earrings out, I do think it could just be Lila about to repeat the same behaviour at this new school as she's just got off the call with Mr Damocles. So I do also think this line could mean I can't wait to see Marinette again because I'm going to try even harder to mess up her life after what she did to me towards the end of season five. But I do think it can be interpreted either the way. Honestly, I'm not actually sure if Lila knows, but right now I doubt it. I would hope if Lila knew that they would show her reaction, we get to see her finding out. But you know, then again, Marinette apparently found out that Gabriel Bates was Monarch Daddy in episode 24 and had zero reaction, so um, <laughs> do with that what you will. However, with all that being said, back to what I said at the start of the video, it just seems like a strange decision to have Lila find out right at the start of her arc of being the villain. I can see her finding out eventually, just not right at the start because it'd just be like, well, wh why wouldn't you just go to Marinette's house and seal the miraculous? You know what I mean? It would be just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit odd. But anyway, besties, that's what I think with the evidence we have so far. However, I do really hope if it's not in the first episode, it's in one of the first episodes of the next season, they show us how Lila got the Butterfly Miraculous because I actually I actually really want to know how she got it. <laughs> so anyway, besties, I'd love to know what you think. Do you think Lila knows? Do you think she doesn't know? I'd love to know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.